AQA, A-level physics, this is for the engineering option, and this video is about torque and acceleration, but angular acceleration. So this should be very familiar. You have a mass, you have a resultant force F, uh, and that will produce an acceleration A, and from Newton's second law, F equals MA. This is actually your, your definition of the Newton. The Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. Now, here's an object and it has a moment of inertia I about a particular axis. Uh, and we uh, apply a torque. If the resultant torque is T, then we have T equals I alpha. So not F equals MA, but T equals I alpha, where alpha is the angular acceleration, d omega dt. So this analogy carries on. I've been waffling on about this for the last few videos. Now the torque uh, on our uh, flywheel mounted on the wall to work out the torque, that will depend on the radius of this pulley. And you will remember moments. Yeah, we did moments in the core course. Force times perpendicular distance. So the moment or the torque will be uh, mg times the radius of the pulley. Okay, force times perpendicular distance. Uh, let's have a go at a couple of questions. So first of all, here's our flywheel uh, and there's its radius and there's its mass, its moment of inertia. There's the radius of the pulley. So what torque would a mass of 50 grams produce and what angular acceleration would this produce? Ignoring any frictional torque. Now, there will always be some frictional torque uh, with a pulley like this, but ignoring that, what would your angular acceleration be? Pause the video, pen, paper, calculator, and the answers are, and there you go. Okay, so just force times radius and torque divided by moment of inertia. Here's another question for you to have a go at, a little bit more complicated. Um, if you go on and do engineering at university, and, and you're doing rotational dynamics, you'll use pulleys like these on the wall. It's quite a heavy pulley, this one. It's about five kilograms. Um, I've given you the radius of the flywheel, the radius of the pulley. We've got 300 grams hanging on this string. When the mass is released, uh, the time taken for the flywheel to rotate five times is measured to be 5.4 seconds. Uh, there'll be a mark on the flywheel and you can actually count how many times it goes round in a certain time. Well, it's easier actually to, to time how long it takes to go around a certain number of times. So work out the following, read it yourself, pen, paper, calculator. I'll show you the answers in three, two, one. Okay, so torque is the force times the radius, which is that. Uh, the angular displacement well, one rotation is two pi radians, so it'll be 10 pi. Uh, for the angular acceleration, I've used one of our rotational equations of motion, uh, and I got alpha to be 2.15 radians per second squared. Uh, and then the moment of inertia, ignoring friction, is uh, T over alpha, uh, 30.1 times 10 to the minus three kilogram meters squared.